How's it going guys? Today we are going to be starting off today's video inside the house, but we are going to be going fishing here in just a little bit. Now I had an idea the other day, I was like, hey, you know what, I'm catching these walleyes on hair jigs. You guys have seen those videos before. I was like, how can I switch it up just a little bit? Because that's like really the only walleye bite that's going on right now. Otherwise, if you want to troll for them, which isn't really ideal because I mean, that's kind of boring. You're just trolling, you don't want to watch that. And, uh, I was watching some old uncut angling videos the other day and I saw Aaron Weeb use some of his hair to tie his own fly. I'm just like, that's kind of cool. Cool. Maybe we should try it because you know my hair is black. We're using black hair jigs for bait. I have not gone fly fishing in I don't know probably close to two years now and I haven't tied my own flies in at least three or four. Um, little background I used to be a big fly fisher. I used to you know go around catch bass, bluegills. I did catch some walleyes, some pike, some carp, some smallmouth. Basically anything that I could around the South Dakota area. I think it's time to bring back the fly fishing sand. I don't even remember what this is called but I got my little thing. I got my hook. I do have some black feather and I do got some black hair. I think that's all I got for black um, stuff. Other than that, we're gonna have to use my hair. For any of you fly fishermen, please, please, please do not judge my fly fishing abilities nor my fly tying abilities because I haven't done any of these in a long time. I'm really rusty. I'm probably gonna have to watch a YouTube video or something real quick to make sure I'm doing it right. So you guys will just have to bear with me. But first, we gotta cut some of this hair. Usually, you guys know my hair is pretty short, but it's pretty dangly and pretty long right now. Okay, sorry if it's a little loud in here because, well, I mean, I am in the bathroom, but uh, I got my little hair that I want and we're just gonna, and we're just gonna snip away. Okay. Look at that, you can't even tell I got hair taken out. But we got our hair. I am just gonna lay that right there. I don't wanna get it all over the place, but look at that. That's a pretty good length right there. Now it is time to tie our uh, hair jig. Yeah, you guys just stay tuned and uh, I'll see if I can figure this thing out. So we got our hook and then we just got some lovely little lead eyes. Um, these walleyes were a little bit deeper in the water column. They are probably, I don't know, four, eight feet down there. So we just got these little eyes we are gonna attach right here too. So we are just gonna start off with putting our, uh, I don't even know what you call this, just some black yarn basically. We're just gonna go down a little bit ways, past the hook there, just like that. We're just gonna take a little bit of this red tensile here and thread it through. Just like that. And then we can snip the excess stuff over here. We can come on here with our hair that I just cut from my head. like that and we can cut the excess from the top there then we're gonna add some artificial hair just cuz why not I think it will just add it a little bit thicker and there we go we got our lovely fly well here's our fly we got the lead head like I said I'm not sure what size hook that is this is basically gonna imitate a leech or a little bait fish now it is time to make some extras just in case we do snap off because there are a lot of pike and uh, we're not gonna be using that heavy of line. So I'm gonna make one or two more with this artificial hair, not my actual hair, but we're gonna see how this goes. You guys just stay tuned. And I'll see you guys when we're done making all of our jigs. And we're back. We are on the water now. I've been fishing for about 20, 30 minutes now. And we got two nice little Eater Walters right there. Um, I did start off with the Saucy Swimmer from the Guggen Squad because I wanted to find some fish before we actually started fishing because I knew it was going to be a little bit of a struggle to find some fish. So I wanted to find fish right away so I started off with the Saucy and I was just drifting with the wind down this big lovely weed line and this lovely cut bank right behind me that drops off to about 15 feet of water and uh, that weed line is sitting in about 10 feet of water and it drops off and then there's no weeds. We're just fishing that edge. So I'm going to strap on the GoPro. You guys just stay tuned and I'll see you guys once we start fishing. Look at these freaking swim trunks man. We got the cactus swimmies on. Our good luck charm. But uh, we got our flies in here and then obviously we got our lovely fly rod. Now like I was saying I don't really have the most experience with fly fishing. So 
So it looks like I got a tibbet for trout, which I mean, we don't really, we don't really need that. We're not fishing for trout. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't really plan this ahead of time very well. So all I have is some um, 12 pound mono because I did not want to run to the store and get some. So, you know, I was being lazy. Obviously I know this isn't what you're supposed to use, but it's what we're working with today. So here are the two flies that we tied on yesterday. Yes, they kind of look like poop. I did put on some head sealing on there. Just I don't really trust my tying ability. So I put them on. This is the artificial hair. It's a little bit less and, you know, whatever. And then this is my hair right here. Look at that. This is my freaking hair, my dude. That's crazy. It smells greasy, just like my hair. So it should work pretty good. Hopefully these fish want something greasy using 12 pound test for our freaking leader basically. And oh, oh, that's good. Just snaps right off, man. Now with it being so deep here, we are going to add a little split shot, like six or eight inches above it. So we're just going to add a split shot. I don't think that these fish are going to care too much about it. I guess that's not really eight, six inches. I guess I don't know my length, but uh, yeah. Let's see how this thing looks in the water. Oh, that's gonna catch some fish there, old son. Maybe it's a little bit too heavy. We're not doing too great here. Basically, I'm just gonna let it sink and then strip it back in like I would with a hair jig or whatever. But it looks pretty good, honestly. It's just a matter of getting it in front of a walleye. Maybe the lead head was heavy enough, I don't know. Oh yeah, she's heavy enough. We don't need no weight on there. Oh yeah, 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 it's getting caught everywhere, man. There we go. A little bit better of a cast. Now, since we don't have a lead weight on there, we're gonna have to let it sink for a while now. And uh, who knows, the fish might eat it on the fall. I wish we could be fishing a little bit shallow of water, but oh, there's a bite, there's a fish. Look at that, no way, on the fly. Hee <laughs> hee, what is it gonna be? On my hair, dude, on my, it feels like a good one. Oh, you're kidding me. That's why it's a freaking pickerel, man. Oh, scary. Oh, don't snap me off, Ricky. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's sicko mode. Oh, oh my God, that freaking butter dog. Well, RIP. Um, there goes my freaking jig. I'm kind of butt hurt, dude. It took my freaking hair. It has my hair in its mouth, bro. I bet that doesn't taste good. It's all greasy and stuff. Mm. Oh, that was cool though. I was hoping for a big walleye. Unfortunately, it wasn't a big walleye, but you know, fish is a fish, man. At least we got a bite on our own freaking hair. That is epic. There we go. There's a fish. This one ate it right next to the boat. What is it? Oh my God, it's another gator, dude. Don't snap me off. I swear to God, if you snap me off, you're gonna get a fist to the face of you. He's got it deep too. Oh no, that's not ideal. Come here, buddy. Oh, I'm not letting you go. You got my hair. Oh, look at that. On the hair jig, brother. Here's our lovely pike. He's bleeding pretty good. So we're going to get him back in. Kind of hooked him in a funny place there.
Oh, we had a bite. Oh no, I botched that one. You guys could probably see the yellow line just shoot out just like that, but we had a freaking bite. We're just gonna let it sink back down to the bottom because, you know, I kind of set the hook there. So the fish might still be around this area. We're just gonna let it sink back down to the bottom and uh, see if this fish comes back for a lovely fly. I don't know what it was. Shoot. Oh, it snapped me off, dude. Oh my God, that's pain, brother. What are the odds of that happening now? Not very high. Oh, we had a, oh, it snapped me off again. Oh my God, we need to catch this freaking pike, dude. That's literally three lures we have lost. Oh my goodness. Cause there's no way we snap off again, right? No shot. Here we go. There's a fish. We're not going to snap off this time, Rick. It's going to be another pike. Yep, it's another pike. So that's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. But we are going to get our jig. It's just a little guy too, man. Look at this little screeble. Going back in the water, dude. That is just... Ugh. So that's what's taking my freaking hair jig. Maybe we need to cast a little bit away from the weed line to get away from these freaking pike, man. There we go. There's a fish. That's not a walleye. That can't be a walleye. If that's just another... It has to be a walleye, though, because how have we not cleaned out the whole pike population? Oh, yes, sir. It's... A... No, he got off. That was a walleye. Oh, my God. Bucko, no shot, dude. Little update for y'all. We've lost what three hair jigs now to pike. We've landed two pike, snapped off three times, and we've got two walleyes off camera. One walleye we had up on, you know, pretty close to the boat, but he came off. So we're not gonna count that as a catch. So we are gonna start fishing again. Here we go, there's a fish. It feels like a walleye. It is, it's a nice one too. It's a real nice one. Look at that. Nice, another eater walleye, probably, you know, 15, 16 inch fish, there's our hair jig. There is our beautiful walleye that we just caught. Look at that little buddy, hey buddy. Oh my God, what happened there? We had a bite and I just absolutely flopped her. There we go, there's a fish. That one bit it super weird. Oh, it's just a little guy. That's just a little baby. Calm down. Look at that. Kerplank. Look at this little guy. He's just a cute little guy. You get to go back in nicely, okay, little boy? Okay, see you later, my dude. Oh, another walleye. Not a keeper, though. He was a little small. Okay. I'm going to take a break. A two cast break with the fly rod, man. And cast around the saucy swimmer. Oh, it feels good. Look how far I can cast that. Oh, weird. Can't do that with the fly rod, huh? I just kind of think we kind of fished this area out a little bit. I want to say like we fished it out, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like we just need to wait for some more fish to come by. Right now, it doesn't really seem like there's much around. So I figured, yeah, why not cast around the saucy swimmer? Get to areas where we can't really reach with the fly rod. 
There we go. There's one. Second cast. Look at him ski in. Ooh, he's a little bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> okay. Well, there's our limit right there. A nice one. Absolutely choked the saucy. Buddy was way out there, by the way. There we go. Top off for a limit. Just like that, man. We got her done. We'll do one more cast with the fly rod, because why not? We'll do two more. We don't want to disrespect it that bad. Oh, we had a bite. Oh no, Jimmy. We had a bite and we missed it. There we go, there's a the fish. Here's a walleye. Maybe it's a pike. No, it's a little walleye. Nice. Come here, buddy. On the fly rod, we love it. Oh God, yeah. Look at this guy, good boy. Oh, last fish of the day. Going back in, swimming right next to his buddies. And just like that, we are gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was something a little bit different and unique and fun. I had a blast out here catching walleye and pike. Well, not so much the pike, but I had fun. But that being said, if you guys have any video suggestions for me, whether fly fishing again, tying more hair jigs, or tying more flies, if you guys find that interesting or making my own lures. Thank you for watching today's video. We'll catch you guys on the next one.